हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज डॉक्टर परी जी योर डेंटल मेट शेयरिंग विद यू माय सिंपलीफाइड वर्जन ऑफ डेंटल लर्निंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग बेसिकली अबाउट आई कैन से दिस इज अ गाइड टू एस एस कैविटी प्रिपरेशन ओके वी हैव सीन अर्लियर दैट एस एस कैविटी प्रिपरेशन इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप फॉर द रूट कैनाल ट्रीटमेंट ओके सो सपोज इफ this is the condition of a tooth this is the radiograph of a tooth which we need to correct now in the radiograph we can see it clearly that that this the dentinal caries the this area is approaching to the pulp which is the vital tissue so we have diagnosed that yes this tooth requires root canal treatment okay now what we have learnt in the basic cavity preparation step is first of all we need to remove all the carious area whatever carious area is there we have to remove it jitna bhi carious lesion hai jo bhi dark brown color ka black color ka dikhega that you need to remove okay now see what we have done now is we have simply removed the carious area so this is the structure of tooth which we have obtained now so what we have done first of all there is complete removal of caries or any old restoration now since we have removed the caries what is the next step is you have to approach here see this is what these are the orifices okay so hum log ko kahan pe pahunchna hai orifice mein taki hum ye jo root canals hain inka treatment kar sake okay so we have to approach to the orifices now what is the next step is when we are coming to the pulp we have seen in the terminology that first of all is the roof of the pulp chamber so though this orifice might be visible with this but not this one so there has to be what there has to be complete de roofing this process in which we are removing see what we are doing we are removing this this is the burr this is our burr and we are removing this portion of the tooth so that there is complete deroofing of the structure is side se there has been deroofing done because of the carious involvement ab hum log ko yahan se bhi complete deroofing karni it means we will be removing this area okay so this is what this is complete deroofing now if we talk about complete deroofing then what can happen is sometimes see because of the improper motion of the burr if you are angulating your burr burr this way then what can happen there can be dentinal shoulders these are dentinal shoulders matlab dentin ka kuch part can be present jisse ki aap agar is direction mein dekhoge to aapko orifice visible hoga but agar aap straight dekhoge तो आपको ऑरिफाइज विजिबल नहीं होगा मीन्स इफ वी एडजस्ट आर सेल्फ एंड इफ वी लुक एट अवर टूथ फ्रॉम एनी अदर डिरेक्शन देन बोथ द ऑरिफाइज विल बी विजिबल बट इफ वी चेक फॉर अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एक्सेस टू द ऑरिफाइज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस डेंटीन शोल्डर इट वुड बी नॉट विजिबल सो अलॉन्ग विथ कंप्लीट डी रूफिंग देर शुड बी रिमूवल ऑफ डेंटीनल शोल्डर्स वॉट एवर शोल्डर्स आर देयर शोल्डर मतलब ऐसे स्ट्रेट लाइन एक पार्ट सो इसको भी अपन को रिमूव करना है देर शुड बी रिमूवल ऑफ द एनी डेंटीनल शोल्डर विच इज प्रेजेंट वाई वॉट इज द रीजन सो दैट वी हैव अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सो 
सो दिस इज फॉर द स्ट्रेट लाइन एक्सेस ओके ताकि हमारे पास एक स्ट्रेट लाइन एक्सेस हो देर शुड बी कंप्लीट रिमूवल सी ऑलवेज रिमेंबर लाइक सपोज इफ दिस इज द पल्प चेंबर नाउ वंस वी आर रिमूविंग द केरियस यहाँ पे केरियस पोर्शन ऑफ केरियस स्ट्रक्चर था केरियस टूथ इसको हमने रिमूव किया ऐसा हमारा मोशन कैसा था बर का ऐसा अंदर जा रहा था ये इनामल डेंटीन तो मोशन कैसा था बर का अंदर इट वॉज डिरेक्टेड अपाइकली सो द फर्स्ट मोशन ऑफ बर इज अपाइकल नाउ एज सून एज वी रीच द रूफ जैसे ही हम रूफ के पास आएंगे वॉट शुड बी अवर मोशन अवर मोशन शुड बी फ्रॉम अपाइकल इट शुड बी लेटरल नाउ वाई लेटरल बिकॉज नाउ सिंस ये जो जितना केरियस पोर्शन था ये हमने ये अपाइकल मोशन में ये डी रूफिंग हो गई ठीक है हम लोग को ब्लड आने लग जाएगा अब ब्लड और इट कुड बी एप्सिस तो फिर पस पस भी आ सकता है Now we have to do what deroofing and the removal of dentinal shoulders. Now if we move to the apex, then what would happen? We can also do this. क्या हो सकता है There could be perforations because of the apical movement of the bud. So once the pulpal floor is reached, once the pulpal roof has been reached, what kind of movement you have to do? Suppose this is the bud. Now from the apical movement see this is the apical movement now once the pulpal roof has been reached you have to go for the lateral movement means if this is the tooth ye apical movement se we have crossed enamel dentine pulp we have reached when we reach the pulp there is a drop okay once you experience this drop of the bar why drop because yahan pe koi solid structure present nahi hota so jaise hi drop aayega you need to move in the lateral direction like this you have to do now lateral cutting all around buccal lingual mesial distal charo walls pe you have to do lateral cutting now with the lateral cutting you have to remove and deroofing karna hai apan ko lateral cutting motion has to be carried out and always and always there has to be what a straight line access to the access to the orifice so this is the orifice and there is a straight line access मतलब आपका जो भी इंस्ट्रूमेंट होगा वो स्ट्रेट जाएगा यहाँ पे ये ऑरिफाइस है इसका ये स्ट्रेट लाइन एक्सेस हो गया ठीक है नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट रिमूवल ऑफ द डेंटिनल शोल्डर्स देन कौन कौन से डेंटिनल शोल्डर्स ऐसे हैं जो कि आपको मेजॉरिटली या फिर मेजरली ध्यान में रखना है इट इज हाउ विल यू विल बी रिमूविंग द डेंटिनल शोल्डर्स विथ lateral cutting motion first thing second which dentinal shoulders has to be taken care of or considered is first of all if we see in the mandibular anteriors means 3 1 in the mandibular anteriors the lingual shoulder okay in the maxillary anteriors सेम लिंगुअल मतलब पैलेटल हो जाएगा मैक्सिलरी में द पैलेटल शोल्डर्स नेक्स्ट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द प्री मोलर्स बी इट मैंडिबुलर और मैक्सिलरी सो इट इज लाइक वी कैन राइट इट एज टू फोर और थ्री फोर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट प्री मोलर्स देन इन प्री मोलर्स देर हैज टू बी मीजियल एंड डिस्टल नेक्स्ट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट मैक्सिलरी मोलर्स टू सिक्स सो इन मैक्सिलरी मोलर्स बक्कल एंड मीजियल शोल्डर्स हैज टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ वेर इज इन द मैंडिबुलर मोलर्स द मीजियल एंड डिस्टल ओके सो दीज शोल्डर्स यू नीड टू यू नीड टू लाइक कंसिडर वाइल यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग द रूट वाइल यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग द एसिस कैविटी और यू आर डूइंग द ओपनिंग एसिस कैविटी ओपनिंग ए ओ एसिस ओपनिंग कर रहे हो that these shoulders you need to consider and there should be complete deroofing and 
there should be complete removal of the dentinal shoulders why the aim is to have a straight line axis and first of all sabse pehle the jitna bhi carious portion hai wo remove karoge okay now if the caries is a mo mesio occlusal caries hai then you need to your approach should be from the mesial direction mesial direction se sari caries portion you need to remove after that you need to search for the distal orifices okay the approach would be decided based on the location of the removal uh, or on the location of the caries or the old restoration just be direction me present hoga that approach you need to follow okay so this is about the complete removal of the caries or the old restoration then there should be complete deroofing and the complete removal of the dentinal shoulders next is to have a straight line axis now we have like removed we have done the deroofing we have uh, removed all the dentinal shoulders now it is also important to search for the orifices how you will locate the orifice what are the laws of access opening so it is very important to evaluate the cemento enamel junction and a proper access opening so removal of all the caries tooth structure conservation of sound structure you do not have to perform overcutting okay jitna bhi hum log ko caries tooth structure hai wahi remove karna hai aur jo bhi sound structures hain tooth ke unko conserve karna hai so conservation of sound tooth structure then complete deroofing of the pulp chamber after that removal of the coronal pulp tissue when you are doing the deroofing after that what would what would you do you will like irrigate the area and remove all the coronal tissues so removal of the coronal pulp tissue then location of the canal orifices which is the laws of access opening will be discussing in the coming video and a straight line access to the root canal these are the goals of access cavity preparation which were given by vertusi okay these are the objectives of the access cavity preparation which is very important this could be asked as a short answer question what are the objectives why the access cavity preparation is being done so these are the objectives six points you need to remember objectives of access cavity preparation in the next video we'll be talking about the significance of straight line access also we'll be talking about the laws of access opening so stay tuned keep visiting thank you